And another week of March has gone by and we are now into the last week of the Dawn of Time milestone. And this week we get to unlock the first of the Cabal members, Iron Patriot. Uh, the first of the non-reworked Cabal members, should I say, Iron Patriot. If you want to know how to do this free to play, then join me in this video. What's going on everyone? I'm BPG and welcome back to the channel. If this is your first time here, I make content for Marvel Strike Force at least one video every week, generally based around the events for the week. So if you find this video helpful, please do consider liking, subscribing, and hey, why not comment down below and let me know if you're new around here. I love to talk to my community. Without further ado, let's get into this week's events. We have Forever Patriot. This event is starting today, the 25th of March at 1 p.m. PST or 9 p.m. GMT. So this event has started if you're watching this and it is an eight day event. It's going to finish on the 2nd of April at 1 p.m. PST or 9 p.m. GMT. This is a solo event. It's also got an associated web milestone going beside it, which is called Dark Rain. Again, same sort of thing, an eight day event. You do not have to go to the website daily to collect this though. This is a eight day web milestone. So we also have Allied Engines. This starts on the 26th of March at 1 p.m. PST or 9 p.m. GMT. So this is tomorrow. It is a five day event. It's gonna finish on the 31st of March and this is an Alliance event. So you're gonna need all your Alliance to participate. And we also have the quick rumble this week called Strike Summit. This starts on Friday, the 29th of March and finishes on Sunday, the 31st of March. So at the same time as the Allied Engines um, event. And in this, it's a standard quick rumble. You're going to get extra points for blitzing with the new tag MSF Originals. So just go into that. But that is your Spider Weaver, your Death Pool, your Baal and your Estro. <laughs> Nearly forgot there. Um, so those four characters will give you extra points depending on what star levels they are at. And it's that time of week to have a look at where we are within the Dawn of Time milestones. So here is the milestone table. And week three, we should be sitting at around 594,180 points, uh, which should hit you at milestone 37. If you have been following the advice that I have been giving, um, so you, we should be well on the way now to those 30 sunspot shards near the bottom and nearly completing the event, which we will do this week. And the first event we're going to cover, as always, is the Alliance event. It is Allied Engines. This is a copy paste of the event we did in the first week of this month. Um, they've piddled the points a little bit, but it is effectively a copy paste of it. So we're going to be playing raid battles um, with a limit of 300,000. We're going to get points for playing raid battles with hive mind characters. That's going to be 195,000 points capped. And then extra points for playing raid battles with Void Knight, Wenham, and Red Goblin. And also for earning the allied supply for orb fragments, which are going to come from your daily free claims. Reasonable free to play total if you do just the hive mind characters, raid battles, and the raid battles and collect your allied supply for orb tokens should, or fragments, should be 615,000. TLDR for this, you're going to need to play 10, at least 10 raid battles daily. That's per alliance member. And then either play two raid battles daily with hive mind. So you could keep that in your normal incursion too if that's what you're running. Um, or what I would recommend doing is launching a low level beta raid and your whole alliance just use hive mind on every node. If you clear that raid completely, you'll clear the milestone limit for that. And go to the free claims daily on the web store and collect those for your allied supply for orb fragments. So that will get you down to milestone 16. So that is the best we can look at there. The rest of it is all going to be uh, points earned by buying offers on the web store or in game. And for those of you that want to see how that's broken down, it's 10 raid battles per day per Alliance member. We're going to get hopefully the 1000 free claim, which we had last time. 
And then there's the raid battles with hive mind characters, which is two raid battles per day, or you could launch a beta raid and hit all 195 characters. So over the course of that raid and be done with it. And now we're into the web milestone for the main event, which is Dark Rain. This is a very simple event where we are going to be earning alliance credits. And I like this because recently, the last couple of web milestones we've had, they've put 700 L4 training modules, so the gold training modules, in the last two milestones. And that really helps with the overall uh, training module bottlenecks that we face quite often in this game. We're going to get 6,000 Patriot Corp orb fragments from this event. And we are also going to get 10,000 points towards the Forever Patriot milestone. The TLDR for this event, you need to donate 10k to gold to your alliance daily. That is all you need to do. If you are an alliance, uh, it would have to be a very small alliance. Um, you might have to donate 50 cores, but any alliance of 24 members will easily clear this with just the 10k gold to your alliance daily. And here's how we work it out. So it's an eight day event. And I've worked out based on three boxes. So you only need to get the first three boxes to actually get the total. Uh, you'll be 80 points over. You get 300 points from the alliance donation boxes if you reach box three. 10 points for donating 10k gold and 150 sorry, alliance credits for uh, the make alliance donation mission. That gives you 460 per day. Over the eight days, that's going to give you 3,680 points. And for those of you that don't know, that one there, box number three, that is where you're aiming for the 720 XP. Most players, though, if you are donating 10,000 gold to the Alliance and you've got an Alliance of 24, you're actually going to reach that fourth box. So you're going to be earning a lot more Alliance credits than you need to complete this web milestone. And that leads us into Forever Patriot, which is the event where we are going to be getting the majority of our I Am Patriot shards um, free to play. And in this event, we are going to be spending Isotope 8 energy. This has no cap on it. It is two points per Isotope 8 energy. We are also going to be getting points for battling in Cosmic Crucible. Um, we have a points limit of 27,000. And also what was missing from the Friday um, preview of the math with myself and Mr. Hartgrave was the collecting the Patriot Corp orb fragments which is going to be worth one point per fragment. So we've already got 6,000 of four points from the web milestone there. I've got our reasonable free to play total down as uh, 63,080 points. Uh, so that's 63,080 points. And the TLDR for this event, you are going to need to win stroke lose six Cosmic Crucible battles in each Cosmic Crucible trial this week. So that's 18 total battles you need to win or lose. Do not cancel out because those will not count. It is only wins or losses. You're going to want to spend 150 cores plus the free Isotope 8 energy pack on Isotope 8 energy per day. And you're going to need to go and collect the free claims from the web store daily as well as take part in the aforementioned web milestone. And those 68,000 points, well, that is going to get us all the way down to milestone 16, which is only 55,000 points. And we're going to be a little bit away from the 71,000 points at milestone 17 for the extra 25 Iron Patriot Shards. So reasonably free to play unless you've been hoarding Isotope 8 energy, you're going to end up at the end of this event with 85 Iron Patriot Shards from the milestone. And then you will get some extra through the orbs. But if you have hoarded and if you watched our video on Friday, I'm hoping you have hoarded your Isotope 8 energy. That might give you just the push you need just to get over to that milestone 17. And how are we breaking these points down? We got 16,000 points from the web milestone. Cosmic Crucible is worth 20, 27,000 points. We've got 18,080 points from the Isotope 8 energy. If you do not understand this by now, we basically get free to play 
1130 isotope energy per day that is energy over time plus your three free refreshes of 80 plus your 450 core refreshes giving you 120 per time that's 480 and we get 50 from the web milestone daily that is going to give us 1130 energy per day. So we have the daily free claim then of 250 Patriot Corp orb fragments. So that is going to give us another 2000 Patriot Corp orb fragments. The deficit to all Iron Patriot shards, uh, the, the points deficit to get to all the Iron Patriot orb sh uh, shards in the milestone itself is 6420, which means we're going to need to spend an extra. 3,210 isotope 8 energy to get to that milestone 17. If you can't do that, you're going to be stuck at that milestone 16, and that will give you 85 Iron Patriot shards free to play. Now, the orb is in game at the minute. There is a drop, a guaranteed drop of at least one Iron Patriot uh, shard per, um, per pull. But there is a high chance of a three, four, five drop on the center pillar as well. Um, so I've basically taken the lowest possible chance out of that if you get a drop in the center pillar as well, which is four. So that should give you over the four orbs that we're going to get 16 shards, which will give you 101 shards, which is the 100 shard unlock. You obviously got the five from the free claim Friday that we had this week as well. So you should be on roughly 106 shards, give or take. Obviously, we can't say exactly because that is all down to the RNG of the orbs. And now into my final thoughts. Um, I'm really excited for the Cabal team. They are very, very good in Cosmic Crucible. Um, and I'm really looking forward to getting Iron Patriot because I don't pay to unlock them. How did you guys do last week on the Cosmic Ghost Rider event? I'd love to for you guys to let me know that in the um, comments down below. How did you get on with that event? This event seems very simple. I think we're going to have a nice easy week. And the events seem to be getting very, very cookie cutter and very easy in my opinion. But I appreciate that. That's not too bad. I'd, I'd like some harder content going forwards. but. The events being pretty simple are good for a lot of players. Don't forget if this video has helped you like the video, subscribe to the channel and hit that notification bell if you want. And that will let you know when I update, uh, upload any new videos. Until next time, everyone, stay positive.